Okay, my friends, I have been studying mud fossils for many years. I discovered them, and then I had them tested, DNA tested, CAT scan, anatomist, the whole nine yards. 100% no question. This is the plural coating of the the lung. Now, when I say 100% no question, all these things have been, I have the DNA reports, I have the CAT scans, I have the anatomist report, and, and, and even a first year anatomy student would understand that is a heart, uh, I mean a lung, and that's where the depression of the heart is. That is the left human lung, and it is a human lung, and that's the flap on the bottom, the red flappy part that attaches from the fascia system. It's, uh, it is what it is, and that's proven. So, going from there, I have looked at everything else that I can look at, and I've looked at things in space, which we're going to look at right now. Now, this goes back to the Rosetta mission. I followed this extremely carefully, because I said, like I said, I've been studying mud fossils for many years. They've been rejected, and this is also from biology. Now, it, it, there really is very little possibility that anybody can deny this. This is the tendinous material and these are the muscle fiber bundles. And here's a closer look at it. And to go, go to any anatomist, they cut the muscle fibers, they get these little pinchy bundles, and these are the tendon straps that run up to, that's what it is. This is what we got here is biology. And here it is right here. And that is the stalk coming up from what I believe to be an Achilles tendon, or it's a tendon of some sort. Now, whether it is Achilles tendon or not, I don't know, because I have one here that is not an Achilles tendon, it's in a giant fingertip, and it also, I believe, came through space. This is my statements, and I'll show you why I can make these statements. That, I'm going to say, is a fingertip. And you say, well, how could you say that, Roger? I said, because that is where the blood was, right here. That was where the blood, the iron, um, the arterial blood exploded, blew out of here. This came through space. That's my statement. That's what I believe. It heated up. That exploded right out. That, that didn't leak out. That's an explosion. And this part right here is this. You see that stalk and so forth? I'll show you in a second. This, that ball is what we're talking about here. Now, I have a terrestrial fingertip right here. Same thing. This one just leaked out though. You see it? That's the same exact identical fingertip. And that's where the arterial blood was. It even has the same hook here. You see that? You see that hook? This is the identical but this is a terrestrial one, and, I, and you could see the fabric, and you could see the fabric of this. This was cooked, coming through space. That's the only thing I can say. And this one just flattened out, and that's where all the blood runs out. The, the arterial side has openness to it, so it explodes. The vein side is here. See, that's where veins, they plug off. That's why they don't explode that side. And this heated up coming through the atmosphere and exploded its blood right out of there. Now, it also happens to iron meteorites. Let's look at that. And don't forget, like I said, go to any surgeon, they'll tell you that they cut a, a, a bundle of muscle and it makes these little pinchy things. And this is what tendons look like. And all you got to do is look up a, a, a biology manual and you can see it. All right, don't forget, I said that's a bundle of muscle snipped and these are the little muscle fibers these are the tendinous fibrils and I have one here that I show right here see those are the tendons and that's the further up the tendon you see, whoops tendon. this is the glue this, that glues the tendons and they break the just like that you see this that's the same type of tendon that the the um pregnant woman stone is. That's the Baalbek stones. I'm telling you, that's just a fact. Now, I'm going to come out to here. There's the Baalbek looking stones. We're talking about things that you, nobody have ever could expect. This thing in space, the, the tendon out in space is 
is um, miles big, I believe, at three miles, something like that. Now, this is the gluey stuff, and it breaks just flat as a pancake. If you look at the pregnant woman's stone, on the end of it coming in, you're going to see all the little blood vessels that go into it, because it has to be serviced with blood. Now, this is the glue, though, that glues it. And then we're going to see the muscle fibers as we come out here. And you're going to see what happens now. Watch this. This is so cool. That's the tendon. This is the glue, the glue. Now, you see these little, th these straps? These are the muscle fibers. They work their way. Look, you see, they, they wrap right into that glue. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and then they come out here. This is stuff nobody's ever seen before because they haven't, no, this is an abrupt transition. And then this is the fibrous material that's in the early part. It gives it, you know, a lot of structure. You, you have this white chunky stuff here and there in the early part of the muscle, which transitions it into primarily complete muscle. Uh, but you're going to see be, there's another abrupt transition right there. See it? I talk about abrupt transition all the time. This is some vascular blood um, that's coming in to feed it and then it breaks off at the end and I show these muscle bundles at the end here somewhere in this video this is the this is what's out outer space and here's the one I have here compared to that one watch this let me see if I can find it. you see that boom watch that's the one in outer space and there's mine right here watch See, it's the same thing. Literally identical. And there's the ball underneath. So, it's what it is. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Now, I would say it would be time to take a, a closer look at these things, if that's what they're looking for. Now, I, this is my question. Will you look at this? Not only that, we have new species called notos. Nobody will engage when you come forward with this stuff. I mean, they always say, talk to the experts. Well, that's good. I'd like to talk. And I also have ones that came from space. This is an iron meteorite. I'm going to show you. You see that? Whoops. This, this is a, an iron meteorite. Okay? That came through space, and that was a lung. All right? And you say, lung? How could you say that was a lung? Here, I'll show you all. All right, you see, this is Williamette meteorite. It's a giant iron meteorite. You see that? That's blood. This is a lung. I am virtually certain of that. I have one here myself that is a terrestrial lung. But what they do is they have all of these holes and all these little alveoli, and they are loaded with blood. And all of these little reddish spots are the same reddish spots as the red blood that's in the iron that's in your body. This can be tested. This is not a, this is no mystery here. It's just been overlooked and not understood. No mystery at all. Now watch this. Now I think I showed you I have a couple of meteorites that have blood coming out of them. That's blood. That's the black vein blood. That's the red arterial blood. Now, it might be hard for you to see the colors, but that's the red. And that could be tested too. There's no question it's going to be tested. And black is the vein blood. It's already deoxygenated. Now, when this burnt up coming through the, the atmosphere, it smelts. That's all they do in a furnace. They take iron ore, which is nothing more than bodies that have blood left in them, it's dried up primarily, most of the moisture is gone, and all you have left is the heart and, and body parts that have iron in them. Like this is this right here. But that's, there's iron in this. This is all kind of iron in this. If you melted this down, you'd end up with a little piece of iron. And then a bunch of slag and stuff like that. But that's what it is the red. Now, if this came through space when it was filled with blood and still had blood in it, and arteries and veins were still, you know, right now it's, it's transitioned. When they are in the ground, 
and the, in certain chemistry they will transition. This one was in a certain type of chemistry where it completely, it's called nucleophilic invasion, where it completely replaces what was here, but it still retains uh, the, some of the chemistry. Uh, this just smelted. So that's why you see this is iron primarily, but there's all kinds of other metals in here. That's why there's just different crystals and colors, because blood contains all the transition metals. And that's why when they cut it and then they etch it, the different acids they eat the metals in different ways and then they display in different colors. That's all it is.